Today we're going to show you not only how to make a sticker sheet, but how to make it in three different ways. This video shows you method number three. But before we continue with this video, I'm going to hang out for a little bit until you watch those first two videos. That way you know how to create die lines for your stickers, create gradients for your backgrounds, just a background in general, and how to create clipping masks. Otherwise, let's get started. Our first step is to open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. For this example, we're creating a new file that is the size of a sheet of paper. However, we're using the landscape orientation so it's 8.5 inches tall and 11 inches wide. Our settings are in the CMYK color mode to ensure accuracy between colors we see on the computer and when we print them. And then our raster effects is at its highest at 300 ppi. This is also important for high quality printed images. Then press create. Now we're getting into the third method of creating a sticker sheet. We're going to create our custom background using the die lines of the art we've already made. I've arranged my stickers from the previous video in a way so that we can make a cool sticker sheet with the outlines. So to create this background, we're gonna select all of the die lines from the stickers. Then press Command C and Command F to copy and paste in front. With these copies all still selected, go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and play around with the offset amount until you have something you like, giving yourself enough space for the original die lines not to intersect. In this case, we're going to put 0.3 for the offset and click OK. With everything selected again, go to the Pathfinder panel and click Unite. Next, unselect everything and use the Direct Selection tool to select the anchor points that you don't want, such as all the ones in the middle, unless you want those cutouts in the spaces as well. Just make sure nothing is smaller than half an inch, otherwise the laser will have a hard time cutting it out. Now we have a one-of-a-kind background made out of the die line of our stickers. Next, let's create the background. To keep with organization, copy and paste the die line you just made into the background layer. You don't want to delete the one that you just made, that one's going to stay. The copy is going to be our background. Once pasted with Command F, swap the fill in the stroke with the shortcut Shift X. You can design your background however you like, but for this one we're going to keep with the same sports theme. So we're going to create a gradient, and you can double click the points to change the colors and use the eyedropper to copy specific colors from your design. Next, we'll create a clipping mask with the sports pattern and the duplicate die line. If you don't know how to create a clipping mask, all you need to do is select the path in the object and press Command 7, and you have a beautiful background. Finally, you have yourself a custom one-of-a-kind sticker sheet. What's next? Creating your order and submitting your artwork to Sticker Mountain. It's easy, and with our quick turnaround times, you can expect to see your stickers in 3, 2, 1, if you want to see the other methods for creating a sticker sheet, check the links in the description below. Otherwise, if you want to learn how to create die lines for different stickers, check the playlist here. See you next time, Yetis!